Greetings comrades, my name is Gigantles and we're currently on Lent, either day 7 or day 8. The reason why I say that is because I know that sometimes uh, people take Sundays off Lent, so it could be day 7 for you guys, but if you don't take Sundays off then it's currently day 8. Uh, and I remember how during my first two years at university I got my calendar for this really mixed up and so I, well, I sorted that out since then, which is why I know we're on day 8 now. So we're almost, okay, not quite there, we're almost a, um, a fifth of the way, actually, yeah. We're almost, a, fi we're almost an, a fifth of the way through, so, you know, that's, what, eight out of 44 days, or seven out of 40. So, we've got some time left. Hopefully you guys have all kept your fasts. Um, and when I mean fasts, I don't mean you haven't eaten for eight solid days, because that's not healthy. That's not what fasting is. Fasting is one normal size meal and then two small meals that when put together aren't the same size as a large meal. So you have to reduce your food intake by just over a third. That's what that's what fasting is. Or if you're like me, I can ju I just go for I just reduce myself to one meal one meal a day. That's just normal size, and then I just try and space that out. So uh, you know, it's enough that you can feel the, you can feel that you're fasting. But or, but also not so not so long that you just end up being starving all day because that can really distract that can really be really distracting if you're trying to work and I've got stuff like this like my dissertation and other assessments I need to work on over the next few weeks so I, I, I need to provide my brain with with some sustenance I know that my channel is great it's it's, it's growing quite quickly and I'm, and I'm grateful for that but my concern is I won't really be able to make as much of a um much of a like 500 subs 500 subscribers special. Um, because of the amount of time I need to put into my dissertation. Because a video, I, I may make another video someday about how long it takes me to make videos, but the amount of time it would take for me to make some sort of 500 subscribers uh, special video, it may take, it may end up taking um, a couple of days. And frankly, I don't have the time for that, unfortunate, unfortunately. So I may need to. Of course, I have a you know thank you or 500 of my subscribers. And then like 500 pictures of me just saying thank you, but I won't be able to make I won't be able to make much of a um, much of much of a celebratory video because of the amount of time I need to focus on my assessments. I will have I will continue with my 1,000 subscribers special though, which is me talking about my um, about my experience of the faith, how I came to it, or rather return to it, depending on how you look at it. I mean, I don't consider myself a cradle Catholic. But we'll get around to that when we get to a thousand, a thousand a, when we get to a thousand subscribers. Then in the title of the video, I know it says I've um, I've almost destroyed Eden again, and I don't mean the literal Garden of Eden. Okay, but no one knows that. No one knows where that is, and it's it, there's no point looking for it. But and, but I'm obviously talking about my Eden, with the plants I have. So Susanna, Yasmin, and um, Sabrina. My so Susanna, the Easter cactus. Yasmin, my common heather and my and Zabina my Thanksgiving cactus yeah so the reason why the reason why I say this is because recently um, I've, I think I said in, uh, in another in another video recently my Easter cactus Zabina had been having problems uh, basically she her leaves had become quite thin and I wasn't too sure why whereas now I thought this was okay. Maybe it's because I mean she's in a hot climate. She's in a climate that's too hot or too cold, which is why I kept moving her around. However, because she's in the same pot as uh, as my Thanksgiving cactus, uh, Zabrina, and Zabrina was doing fine despite the conditions. I thought, okay, something else has to be up. So I made an appointment one day. I don't want to call it an appointment. I made an appointment one day that after buying uh, buying gravel and soil, I would try and see if I could maybe repot them. Or rather, at least just try and change the soil around in case it was the soil wasn't working too well. And so I took I took both of them out of the soil, and there's definitely been there's been definitely been a lot of growth in the last almost three years since I've had them. I think I told you about this before. The the, um, the reason why I have these why I have Zabrina and Susanna, okay, so I got I got Yasmin from my parents. Um, they gave her they gave her to me as a housewarming gift when I moved into my first accommodation. I got Sabrina and Susanna from uh, a cutting I'd taken from my biology lecturer in college. 
So she had a whole, she had, you know, this big, big Easter, big Thanksgiving cactus. Ba big Thanksgiving cactus and a big Easter cactus. And I just broke off two leaves. Still uh, still connected onto each other, but a, you know, a section that was two leaves long. So I had one leaf in the soil and one leaf sticking out. And they definitely, and they've definitely, and they've definitely grown since then. As you can see here from my, uh, from my Thanksgiving cactus, Sabrina, you can see the original leaves at the bottom and then, the, you know, just the, all the roots and stuff. Which does grow, which does go to show that she's definitely experienced a lot of good growth, and I'm thankful for that. I, I definitely messed up when it came to the potting room, the potting of my plants. Sabrina was fine because she had enough roots and they weren't and they didn't extend too deep, but the and because her leaves were smaller than were smaller than Susanna's. The problem I had with Susanna was that the pot I had didn't have any drainage, which meant that. Whenever I poured, whenever I watered the plants, it meant that the water would just settle at the bottom of the soil, and over time, along with the clays and stuff in the soil, it would just end up forming a really hard layer. Not quite rock, like, you know, it's hard as rock, but it was still quite firm. And so when I, um, when I, when I took, when I took uh, Suzanne out, when I, yeah, when I, no, sorry, when I took Sabrina out, I found that she was okay. And this was because she had a lot of shallow roots, which meant that they weren't, like, trapped in this really tough soil. When I took Susanna out, I found that she had no roots whatsoever. She looked like a stake, basically, in the ground. And this was quite problematic, because this isn't the first time I've tried to repot my plants. I keep using rep the words repotting incorrectly. Originally, Su originally, Susanna and Zabina were in two different, plant in two different pots, but I put them together because I thought maybe they'd need the same conditions. When I repotted Susanna, I found that she had a bunch of little roots and one big root, and I thought, okay, that's good, she's got a lot of root growth, she'll be fine when I repot her. But what ended up happening was, because of the conditions I'd subjected her to in this pot with no drainage, the soil had basically suffocated her roots and caused them to rot. So the reason why Susanna, yeah, the reason why Susanna's leaves were so, were so thin was because she had no roots, and so she was losing a lot of water. So she's basically in a skeletal state, and I felt really guilty about this. And so I, I continue with my prayers to St. Fiaca for the successful growth of my plants. And I mix the gravel and soil together to try and create some, uh, to create some spaces in the, in the um, to try and create some spaces in the soil so it's not suffocating. I tried to make my pots drain, which was basically me just, uh, stabbing a knife at the bottom of my pot until there were holes in it, until there were holes in it. And I also put a plastic bag over, a see-through plastic bag over Susanna to try and help it, to try and help reduce her water loss, so that hopefully she would whatever little soil, whatever little water she can take out of the soil, it's not going to be removed immediately, and that she can try and re, she can try and regrow her roots back. Sabrina, on the other hand, is just fine. She's she's the one who I was worried for the most originally because of her really thin leaves and her discarded leaves, but she's fine now. I'm grateful for that. I think uh, I'm not going to remove the possibility. I'm not going to stop hoping for a miracle that could happen that will result in Susanna's root system growing back properly because and I always use uh, Yasmin I always use Yasmin my common heather as a brilliant example of this last year I think almost a year ago what ended up happening was a huge gust of wind at my house um, Yasmin was on Yasmin was on the window so that was open really wide and it was quite stormy a huge gust of wind came in and basically snapped uh, Yasmin or Yasmin's uh, stem and she basically just trunk or whatever because it wasn't a normal stem she was she wasn't like a, like a mini tree it, she, it just snapped her off and she fell onto the floor and i just stuck her back in the soil i put stuff like honey and um and cinnamon to try and help encourage root growth i put that all over the i put that all over her severed stem and i just buried her a little bit deeper so that she would have some uh, struct some sort of a structural stability and i just prayed every day that she would somehow recover from the severed stem. And it's been over a year and she's growing fine. I don't, I haven't dug down to her roots. I haven't dug down to see if she's growing any roots back because I'm always concerned I might damage what little uh, growth she may have had since. But the fact that she's, in, that she's still growing fine, I think is absolutely a miracle because again, she'd lost her entire root system this way. And I know her root system has rotted away. So her, however she's managing, it's a miracle whether she's regrown her entire root system back or she's somehow making do with no roots. So I do pray that Su that Susanna may somehow grow back and that um, she may continue to pro produce her wonderful pink flowers. Maybe not this year, because usually by this point in time, she usually, she's usually blossoming. 
but I do hope that maybe next year she'll be healthy enough to blossom again and the leaves will be thick and waxy and strong again. I'm definitely a, um, a plant parent if I'm worrying this much about my own plants like they were my children except that uh, it's a bit harder to talk it's a bit harder to, to uh, it's a bit harder to it's a bit harder to talk to plants than it is children because a child can tell you what's wrong with them a plant can't and I can't just keep uh, just digging up my plants to see okay how's your root system doing today I can't do that but yeah just hoping that my plants grow uh, grow healthy and strong and that Saint, Fia Saint Fiaca will intercede for them best as he can because even if even if they're just plants and not just people, even if they're just plants, they're still the plants that I look after. Uh, they're my responsibility, I do care for them, and it's just nice to see how, it's a sense of accomplishment in seeing how, you know, how your plants have grown since they were, you know, just a couple of leaves, and now they're, you know, like a several dozen leaves or a couple, do a couple or several dozen leaves now, or flowering and beautiful when it's time to blossom, and I hope that I can, uh, I can help them live long, live I hope I can help them live through several cycles of this at least, several cycles of this at least, so that other people can say, you know, you know, good job, you know, wonderful plants you've grown, you've done a good job looking after them, and that the plants can have long, healthy lives with me. Just the typical things here, looking after my plants in yet another crisis that is done because I'm still new to all this, relatively new. Um, now I may not have a 500 subscriber special video because of the amount of time I have to dedicate on my dissertation and other assessments. Uh, how do things just run out? It's amazing what you can forget within the 14 minutes you're trying to record a video, but I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time and space on my camera, so I'm just gonna say hopefully you all have a good week. Remain strong for the rest of Lent. God bless you all. See you in the, see you in the next video, comrades. Until then.